Hey guys, we're gonna go over our dumbbell seated lateral raise. So I'm gonna sit down on the end of bench here, grab two dumbbells, and once I grab them, you wanna make sure you're creating good spinal alignment. So double chin, rib cage pulled down to belt buckle, shoulders are slightly pulled back, not so much so that your chest comes up, but slightly pulled back and then down as if you're tucking your shoulder blades into your back pocket. From here, I'm gonna bend forward slightly with my torso. I'm gonna have a slight bend in my elbow. And then when I come up, I'm not coming straight out to the side. Okay, I'm coming up and kind of, you're gonna finish off in a lazy U, okay? And then back down. And when I also come up, I also like to raise or lift with my elbow and let the elbow to the hand just kind of go along for the ride more or less, as opposed to lifting with your hand and so your elbow drops below your wrist. Just the way I was taught, I like it. I like having your elbow at least parallel with your wrist or slightly um, slightly higher than your wrist. Again, it kind of helps with that lazy U uh, analogy there, and you're just kind of pouring tea with your thumbs. Now, if you don't like that analogy, that's fine. You can grip the, the dumbbell with an okay sign, even with uh, the next finger down, and just leave your pinky finger either off the handle or just put most of the pressure on these three, these two or three fingers, okay? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Just go back to the, the, the pouring tea. In the end, it's not a big deal. Just make sure that you have spinal alignment, double chin, rib cage pulled down, slight bend in the elbow, you're leaning slightly forward, you're coming up in that lazy U by raising with your elbows. Then down slow. And that's your dumbbell seated lateral raise.